It's the 2K Sports pregame show. This is 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA. We're joined by the legends Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Denver Nuggets at Pepsi Center. Looking at Denver, over the first half of the... Here live in Denver, Colorado, the hometown for the Nuggets for an Eastern versus Western Conference matchup right here. We've got some terrific NBA action in store for you today. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. You look at Atlanta. It's an opportunity for them to play in a heated matchup like this to play your best basketball. These are the games, guys, that show how well you match up against the other great teams in the league. And expect it to buy for that top seed coming into the season. They have not been disappointed. This is a team poised to do big things in the postseason. Well, all the hype was justified. I mean, it's been an impressive season for them. We've seen them win a lot of different ways. They've proven of all of that to be a very, very complete team. We've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. On the court for Atlanta, Millsap at power forward with Horford at the center. Kyle Korver is out there with Dennis Schroeder, and it's Cephalosia in at the three. Here's Freak following the basket by Al Horford. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Good! Martin's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Yeah, poor job defensively, giving him such a clear look at the basket from three-point range. Korver kicks to Horford. The dish to Korver, Millsap left side. Lock at six. And Kenneth Fareed pulls it down. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Times out of 10, that's an easy layup for him. Freak passes to Moutier. Another three for Denver. Almost any NBA player can make you play when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. Schroeder kicks to Corver. In the corner, Seth Pelosia with it. Outside Corver. Here's Schroeder, guarded close, and it's slammed in by Millsap. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop-chop there with that one hand tomahawk slam? The Hawks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Schroeder with the ball. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Horford, good. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against the Nets in Brooklyn. And the deciding factor in that one was their success from the floor. I mean, they just hit big shots time and time again. Yeah, just the way you want it when you're the road team. Don't even give the fans a chance to get into it. Here is Korver following the basket by Freak to the right side. Shot, high post, and it's Schroeder missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Haley passes the Freak, kicks it to Barton, all sorts of time, and the shot is good, popping in off the front of the rim. Barton's got five. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Picked by Horford. To the paint. Banked in off the glass. Horford's got his second bucket tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. It really has, and they've created a lot of high percentage shots in the paint here already. Three, and there's another one for the Nuggets. The Hawks trail by five. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I was able to talk with Mike Budenholzer for just a moment. He told me it's a fun challenge trying to slow down a team that's so cagey and opportunistic offensively. He said, of course we've done our scouting, but this is the first time we've seen them firsthand this season. So it'll be interesting to see if we can take them out of their sets and slow them down at that end. Guys, they'll have to be solid defensively. Back to you. Great stuff, Doris. Thanks. It sounds like the most important number for them today 
is opposing shooting percentage. Now, as it should be. I mean, this is an opponent that can go through some very hot stretches with the ball. So they've got to do what they can to limit those opportunities. Yeah, and from what Coach was saying, guys, I mean, he knows that. They should play some suffocating D today if he got his message across. Here's Freak after the basket by Atlanta. Rebounded by Corver. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Now here's Schroeder. Nine points last game. He feeds it to Millsap. And again, it's Atlanta. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do. That's the freak. From 12 feet out, and that one's good. Freak's got eight. And when they go gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Let's take a look at some of the leaders of the NBA. These point guards have been shooting lights out during the last month. Fourth, the man in the NBA. Some remarkable shooters in that group. I mean, you know that when you're seeing those types of numbers at the point guard position, you're talking about some very intelligent and patient players. In addition to being unbelievably gifted shooters, I mean, these guys have some of the smoothest, sweetest strokes in the NBA, which means they have some of the best strokes in the world. And it's Schroeder missing. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Barton kicks to Moody. Now, Freak. Great look there, but off target. Man, that is a missed opportunity right there. And he'll be the first to tell you, Greg, that's one he should have knocked down. Now, here's Schroeder. Defense is right there. And it's slammed in by Splitter. Rock hard finish there, guys. And only one hand needed for that one. Yeah, and sometimes that's all you need. Bailey passes the Freak, the 11-footer, and it's Denver oh, scoring oh, again. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Corver kicks to Splitter. Corver dishes to Splitter. Back to Corver. Pass to Millsap. Trying to find Schroeder. Gets it to him. Millsap a screen. Shoots off the screen. And it's Schroeder missing. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good looking shot, well executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. Well, fade away. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And 12 points for Freak. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Splitter sets a screen. And here's Schroeder. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Moutier past the Freak. And again, it's Denver. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We'll see how long they can keep it going. Over the last month, we'll take a look at where the Hawks rank in the NBA stats. First in free throw percentage. Second in steals. And they are ranked third in limiting opponent field goal shooting. That's always an impressive number. Anytime you're in the top three in that category, you're doing work. And you look at their ranking, tops in free throw percentage. I think it speaks to their focus and discipline as a team. They look to capitalize on every mistake. Splitter sets a screen. There's Schroeder. And it comes off the front of the rim. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Freak takes to Moutier. His second shot goes in off to a good start, two for two. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. Now here is Hardaway. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. Splitter misses. Usually if he gets to the rim, 
He's converting it into points. The defense stood tall there. Boudier dishes to Freak. Releases from 15. The shot no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Just not a disciplined performance defensively in that game, guys. A lot of silly fouls hurt them throughout. I think lack of discipline is the right phrase, Greg. I mean, a lot of silly fouls, and they did that even when they were in foul trouble. And here are the Nuggets now, following the three by Atlanta. A fadeaway, and there's another one for the Nuggets. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. The Hawks trail by eight. To the paint, here's Muscala, and he's... It one handed. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Mark, that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And how about how he cat that one out? Almost like the one two punch. Oh, here's Freak. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Freak's got 18 points in the game. Boy, this game is off to a flying start. Yeah, we're seeing some high octane offense from both sides in this one. Ritter passes the splitter. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy dude. Very, very well done. Vasquez kicks to Freak. Feeds to Moutier. There's the three. There's Freak. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Teams changing it up here. Denver shooting their first free throw of the evening. There's Schroeder. There's 18 seconds left in the first quarter. Out to the wing. Another three for Atlanta. And really, how about the quick release on that triple there? Because he's given up a lot of height in that matchup. Right on target you are, Greg. I mean, the quick release is what made the difference there. Any hesitation? Now we have a chance now to hear from Paul Millsap talking about the confidence of his team. You know, our attitude approach in the game. I'm mean, Greg, it's got to be more than just attitude, right? I mean, both teams will make substitutions. Denver in the lead. Freak in at center. Chandler and Fareed are at the forward spots. Bill Barton is out there with Moutier. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Atlanta's gone three to five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Nets put on a show. He dropped in a staggering amount of points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what was a great exhibition on his part. Numbers like that make you anxious to see what you can do next time out. All right, Doris, thank you. We played at a level that very few players are capable of playing. And you'll be interested to see how much time he's got left in the tank. I mean, that performance had to take a lot out of him. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes supreme confidence can increase your stamina and endurance so i'll be interested to see how that affects this play atlanta's gone six of eight on three pointers in the game an outstanding 75 percent mark and it's schroeder missing denver's gone 0 two from deep in the second colinari dishes to moody down low there's freak nice pass right into the rack perfectly for the layup Freak's got 23 points. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. Mills up a screen to the inside. Splitter, that's good. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team and get a lot of open looks from it. Has to go up. Here's Freak. Out and he hits it. Freak's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, can he finish in the paint. That's one thing we know he's good at. Now here's Corver. Defense right on him. Now the pass to Schroeder. Millsap has the open look. Denver grabs the miss. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And this matchup with the Hawks is their first meeting of the season. Yeah, really a rare treat for the fans. The only time they'll get to see this matchup all season. Interconference action. 
here. Two games in all between these two teams. It'll be fun to watch. The Hawks trailing. Here's Schroeder looking to end his cold spell. Fires for three. And it's Freak with the rebound. Freak's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Got a piece of it. And so the ball out of bounds. Splitter touched it last. Oh. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. And that's an example of willpower right there, guys. I mean, grabbing the offensive rebound and then going back. And Gio, in a close game like this where every possession is critical, that could prove to be a very big one. Boy, it sure could, Kevin. I mean, he salvaged two big points for them off that miss. The feed now to Muscala. The open shot, Millsap. Again, Millsap missing. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Moutier past the freak. 158 left in the first half. Millsap a screen. Chandler comes with the double team. And Muscala kicks to Millsap. Tipped. Now, here's Moutier. He's tightly guarded, and that one's good. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. The Hawks trail by six. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Splitter sets a screen. Schroeder with the ball. Now defended by Moutier. Shot clock at six. To the middle. There's Muscala. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense is determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him burn the free throws. And so he hits both. Well, as far as the league's big men go, he's one of the very best at the foul line. Moutier kicks to Gallinari. Unloads from 13. And Freak gets it to go on the assist from Gallinari. Gallinari's got his third assist on the night. Now here's Schroeder. He'll snap a screen. Muscala misses. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. The defensive backboard has been controlled. They have not allowed a lot of second chances. It's been about one and done for the most part. And I'm not talking about leaving Kyle. Yeah, I know you're not. That's a bunch of good rebounding taking place there for Moody and the basket. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot. And it's really paid off for them during the run. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Good on that shot. And with that, the Nugget lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Corver. Denver's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Fades. And again it will go. Basket is good from Freak. Freak's got ten points now just in this quarter. Schroeder with the ball. Splitter sets a screen. Shot off the screen. And so we conclude the first half. Alright, the second half beginning in just a moment. Just absolute domination in this one for free. 11 rebounds and some big-time point production as well. More than half their points have come from him alone. It, it's been a one-man show. He has carried them offensively. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer, starting the second half. Millsap the power forward with Horford at the center. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Kyle Corver. And it's Cephalosia in at the small forward. There's Freak. And it's Denver scoring again. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them maintain that lead. On the wing, Corver. Nailed from three 
three-point land. Corver's got 14 points. He has really made an impact from beyond today. That's another triple. Well, that's where he's been doing all of his damage. And with a couple more from out there, we'll have a real ball game on our hands here. And Horford pulls it down. The Hawks trail by seven. Corver kicks it over to Schroeder. And Vareed comes to help. It's Millsap with the drive. Here's Cephalosha. Denver grabs the miss. Freak's got 11 rebounds in the game. Goes to the fadeaway and hands it. Freak's got 35. Just no chance for the smaller defender to block that shot. He's really, really good at using his size to free himself up for those mid-range jumpers. A master at can't get anything to drop. I mean, the way he's going, it's probably not something he should try and shoot his way out of. <laughs> well, they say you should shoot your way out of it, but his teammates probably have other thoughts in mind. The last thing they want to see him doing is continuing to cast that jumper up. Outside Corver buries it from three-point range. Corver's got 17. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. And they may have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Denver with the ball. Inside. It's tipped. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. And here on the 2K leaderboard are the teams with the quickest hands in the league. Number five, the Hawks. One of the things that's made this team so effective is their ability to get takeaways. I mean, they do an excellent job defending the ball and also jumping into the passing lanes, and they're all together defensively. That's one of the reasons they're amongst the league leaders in steals. Schroeder kicks to Millsap. Can't hit. Some solid to hear from Freak. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Dishes to Fareed. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. No one near Moutier as he lets it go. Hits it from three-point range. Moutier's got 13. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Schroeder kicks to Horford. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on three. The Hawks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And they had really good numbers all season from the free throw. So the event for the Hawks, Splitter comes in for Al Horford. And Mike Muscala is subbed in for Tabo Cephalosha. And Holiday kicks to Hardaway. Splitter sets a screen. Fader on the way. Good on that shot. And with that, the Nugget lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Hardaway. Denver's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Moutier passes to Freak. He dishes it to Moutier. Inside, Freak. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, well I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't, because otherwise we'd probably have a 45-minute delay here if he shattered the backboard. Gallinari against Hardaway. And that's a foul called on Gallinari. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. On defense, Denver. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. Dishes it to Splitter. Five to shoot. Let's it go from 11. Chandler outside. He kicks to free. Out to the right wing. Here's Moutier. Another three for Denver. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Nuggets. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. 
splitter sets a screen all alone. That drops. Your Red Coast got four points now in the quarter. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Time now for an injury report. Cam, I was able to speak with head athletic trainer for the Hawks about his status. It doesn't seem like too drastic of an injury. The schedule becomes a real grind at this time of the year, and that injury is only going to make things harder on this team. Guys? Okay, Doris, sounds like uh, he won't be out for too long. Well, hopefully that's the case, Kevin, um, and he'll be back before long. Right side, hard away. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Hardaway has got his third basket of the night. Wow, got that one off right in the face of the big fella. Nice quick fire release. Yeah, and the mid-range shot really the only option in that situation. Sometimes when you're facing a bigger guy, you can't get it all the way to the rim. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Finish the splitter, tries it from nine, and it's Freak with the rebound. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Straight bully ball. Sound offensively. Really no other way to put it here in the second half. There's no, really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they both shot the ball since the break. Hardaway dishes the splitter. And Muscala kicks to Hardaway. They set the pick. It's deflected. At the elbow, it's free. Not loose. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Joining us, let's see what happens here in the fourth. Here's Moutier. Freak, he's in at center. Bill Barton is out there with Moutier. Then there's Kenneth Fareed. And it's Bailey in at the three slot. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. And so he makes both from the line. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, as cool as can be, Clark. Great focus and efficiency. That's how they built this lead. Here's Hardaway. Plays it up and banks it in. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. At the elbow, it's free. Fades back. Rebound by the Hawks. Sepalosha has got five rebounds tonight. Kicks it to Hardaway. He feeds it to Millsap. And it's good. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Yeah, great concentration there, Greg. Hung in there. He didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim. Knew he was going to get hit. And still was able to finish. Bailey passes to Freak. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Pass to Bailey. Feeds it to Freak. He dishes it to Moutier. From downtown. Here's Free. Here's Freak. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. Corver dishes to Hardaway. Pass to Horford. The 15-footer, and it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. Hardaway has got his fourth assist in this one. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Freak, and off the front iron, and in it goes. Freak's got 45 points. And, and he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Side Hardaway. No luck. Now Denver takes it the other way. 22 is their biggest lead. Moutier kicks to Barton. 
passes it to Freak. Here's Bailey. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. The Hawks trail by 18. Picked by Horford. Hardaway kicks to Millsap. No good. Just a really solid display there of rebounding. They've done it really all game. Dominating on the glass, Greg. I mean, a huge advantage for them in that particular category. Moutier, off target from three-point range. For Atlanta, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Hillsap a screen. Here's Hardaway. The pass to Horford, stolen by Fareed. To the middle, here's Freak. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Freak's got 47 points. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this lead. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Checking out the game Paul Millsap is having. He has 11 points and three dimes. He's off on the second. The Nuggets leading by 19. You got it. Freak passes to Barton. Hardaway with the steal. Sepalosha dishes to Millsap. Millsap a screen. Now here is Hardaway. Guarded close. Horford no luck. But that's what we call good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in goals. It absolutely is, and maybe even more than that. I mean, you saw it right there. Without his presence, that's an easy basket. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because if you want the refs in that situation, if there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Yeah, they're starting to go in the wrong direction. In terms of turnovers, it's slowly becoming a problem. Outside Hardaway, out left to the wing. From 13, and it's Horford again missing. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you can test his shots every time down the floor. And it's Freak missing. The Hawks trail by 19. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. You're good, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. But they'll get another chance, and they'll keep possession. Corver gets a wide-open look. The Hawks again can't hit. Denver's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Bailey passes to Freak to the left side wing. It's deflected. Millsap with the steal. Horford kicks to Millsap. They set the pick. Horford has a wide open look and a little luck that time, but it drops. Horford's got four this quarter. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that side. Not loose. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Corver. And Kenneth Fareed pulls it down. Fareed's got rebound number eight now on the night. Got it. Get the ball to the inside. Freak. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. They hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Millsap kicks to Corbin. Millsap a screen. Shot off the pick. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. The Nuggets leading by 19 points. There's Freak. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Yeah, excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. Atlanta's shooting in the fourth quarter down around 31%, not playing with as much energy here lately. Hardaway dishes to Horford. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Hardaway has got five assists in the game. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. A fader, and again, another one in from Freak. Freak's got 12 points now in the quarter. I like the recognition of the mismatch there, immediately making the defense pay. Outside Hardaway, the feed to Millsap, the baseline J. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards 
has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. That's what I like. A nice, strong finish inside. That's what he does. He's got that dunker mentality. Our goodness, physicality personified right there. Able to just go up and finish over the biggest defenders. Here's Hardaway. And the shot no good. A bit short. The Nuggets leading by 23. Bailey passes to Barton. Here's Paree. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's all one-way traffic tonight, boy. They have been lights out offensively. <laughs> and there's no telling how big that lead's going to get. But, again, it's just one game. But, nonetheless, a very impressive one, the way they've handled their business here. You got it. The it's just a done. freak. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Free throw, good. Three. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Atlanta's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Outside Hardaway. Tipped. Here's Muscala. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. On offense, here are the Nuggets. They're on a 16-7 run. And Holiday kicks to Hardaway. Back to Holiday. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Flowers the pass to Holiday. Your red coat is just to Hardaway. Clock at four. That's tipped. Now Grant. Get the ball inside. To the wing on the left. Gallinari against Hardaway. Freak kicks to Grant. There's the dish to Freak. Six to shoot. Over in the corner to Vasquez. No problems knocking that one down. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Nuggets. Mark, their shot blocking turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Well, they were disciplined and focused, I thought, all game long, Kevin. Excellent defense around the rim. And so looking at their number, this will be win number 22 on the year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. It sure is. It's just the two gamers since they're in opposite conferences. And you can bet they'll take the same approach right into game two that they had tonight. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Freak. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Risky pass in a situation like that. Very lucky that wasn't a steal. Fortunate to get it through. I thought he was headed the other way with that one. Fifty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hardaway against Grant. Hardaway passes to Moscow. Down to five on the shot clock. For three. Another three for Atlanta. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Vasquez. Kicks in a screen. Fade away. And J.J. Hickson is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. This is a serious game-clinching run they're on. Yeah, I agree with you. Just not backing off here. I mean, they're looking to close this one out in style. What a time to have this kind of serve. Hardaway dishes to Yurepko. Fran against Hardaway. Steps back and fires. Can't get it to go. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Well, the outcome of this one never really in doubt tonight. Would you say that this is one of the better performances by this team this year? Uh, so it felt like it, yeah. It's nice to see exactly what this team is capable of. Uh, we all execute like we know we can. Makes me 
excited to get the next game started so we can build on this win. Well done. Kevin, a young man always looking for more. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hi again, everybody. This freak. It was nothing short of a professional offensive clinic he put on today. He hit shots from every place he took them, and he took a lot of them to score more than 50 points. He was literally unstoppable tonight, Ernie. Those defenders that were trying to guard him are going to have nightmares tonight. He put on a clinic on how to break down the defense. With that kind of performance, it's going to be hard to repeat it. I don't know if there's a fan base that loves their star more than this crowd. Wow. I'm getting jealous. And he feeds off that support. Once they got behind him, he became unstoppable, man. And folks, that'll wrap it up. Why do you think they had such a hard time keeping you off the glass tonight? I'm just a beast, you know? Now you guys like nicknames, right? So just call me the God of Glass, the Lord of Leap, the Prince of Pounded. Ah, right, you know what, this is getting weird. Any of those is good with me though, all right? Any reason you were in such an offensive group tonight? Yeah, I mean, I had some pretty good looks and was able to knock them down. When my teammates are helping to set me up like that, my part is easy. So, thank you all. Following the team recently, it's been clear you're spending a lot of time in the practice gym. Any particular reason for that? I mean, the dots are right there for you to connect, but I guess you're gonna make me do it for you. Lots of time in the practice gym means I ain't satisfied with my game. You can earn a lot of rewards by just putting in time. That's one of the first things I learned in the NBA. So I'm putting in time. But hopefully, you're noticing the results in my game.